Tete Aina, the crocuta crocuta, spotted Aina, an animal that is so ugly, but beautiful to watch, beautiful to learn about, beautiful to learn the things that it does, its survival and stuff like that. This hyena, we normally call it the stupid animal, the animal that never learns a lesson. These animals during creation were sent with uh, the trees, to plant the trees. Uh, and, uh, the hyena was given the power of tree, the Atasonia digitata. So then this uh, animal being stupid, he never knew the branches, he never knew uh, the roots as well. So he planted this tree upside down. So that's the name, the upside down tree, meaning the baobab tree. I mean, uh, during the months of winter when they shed off their leaves, if you look at the branches, they look like uh, the, the roots. It's a baobab tree branches, they look like roots. So that's why we call it the upside down tree. So this is the myth that it was planted by a hyena because the hyena is so stupid, he never learns anything. So he planted this tree upside down. So I want to show you uh, cool stuff. I want to tell you something about the hyena. The hyena falls under the family Hynidae. That's the family Hynidae. That's where we have this spotted hyena, the brown hyena. And also we have the subfamily Protelidae where we have an adult. What is a spotted hyena? This is a medium sized animal that weighs around uh, 70 kgs. Uh, that's uh, for our males. And the females weighs up to like 80 kgs. So females are larger than the males. And uh, these animals will give birth to one to two young ones after about three months, it's plus or minus three months. And uh, they can live up to like 20 years. That's in the wild. That's the hyena. And uh, their peak season is just any time. They don't have a peak season when it comes to reproduction. They just give birth uh, to one to two young ones any time throughout the year. And uh, these animals are actually feed on the medium to large ungulates. I still remember that I made a video about the ungulates. Now we know what ungulates are. So this animal actually can hunt and also scavenge at the same time. It can feed on carrion as well. And uh, carrion, that's the rotting meat. Even the meat that is on the advanced stages of rotting, it can feed on that. And also it can feed on bones as well. That's where it gets much of its calcium. So we normally call this animal as an ecological engineer because it cleans up the environment, picking up anything, skins of animals, the bones of animals, the skulls, the bones, anything. It can just pick up anything and feed on that. And this animal actually uh, is uh, very much um, nocturnal. Yes, it can move around during the day, but it's nocturnal in most cases, especially the busy places. It's nocturnal, it moves around at night. This is the hyena, the computer, computer, spotted hyena. Hey nature lovers, this is the art my survivor. This is the channel that takes you around Africa and want to teach you amazing stuff about Africa, teaching you about the mammals of Africa, the reptiles of Africa, snakes, everything that you can think about when it comes to nature in Africa and also the destinations, the places that you would prefer to visit and some places that you don't even know that they exist in Africa. We want to actually put them under the spotlight so that you know what's taking place please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and activate the bell icon so that you are notified whenever we upload a new video and also when you're watching our videos and when you're making sense please give us a thumbs up that will help our channel to grow a lot we want to grow and we want to reach the whole world and we want to teach each and every person in this world about the things that happens in africa the good and the amazing stuff about africa so guys stick around and we are talking about the family honey day that's where we are talking about the hyenas in africa so stick around the army survivor the next hyena that we're going to talk about this is the brown hyena that's a hyena brunia hyena brunia this one is also a scavenger but it actually hunts also it feeds mainly on mammals the birds the reptiles fruits insects and stuff like that so it's a, like an omnivorous hyena it feeds on anything that it can uh, meet but this one is uh, smaller than the the spotted hyena because the males can weigh up to like 47 kilograms and the females up to like 42 kilograms and the major difference is that this hyena the females are smaller than the males but the computer computer the females are larger than the males so this brown hyena gives birth to three young ones that's after about 90 days about plus or minus 90 days during the month of august to november um, but uh, they are not strictly seasonal though they can give birth any time of the year. 
but during August to November, that's where we have most of the records of them giving birth to two to three young ones. And uh, they can live up to like 24 years as in the wild. This is the brown hyena, the hyena bronea. Hyena bronea, this is the brown hyena. And we have a subfamily when it comes to these uh, families, the subfamily Protelidae, that's where we have an adult. Adwolf, this is a Protelis cristestas, the Protelis cristestas, the Adwolf. This one, its diet is uh, mainly termites, mostly uh, the termites that are called the harvester termites. That's what it feeds on most of the times. It can feed also on uh, arthropods and uh, anything that is available, depending on the availability of food. So, but the main diet is the termites. And this one, the males can weigh up to like 9.9 .9 kilograms and the females can weigh up to like 7.7 .7 kilograms. So that shows that uh, the females are slightly smaller than the males. The gestation period, they are 90 days, giving birth to two to four young ones during the months of October and December. And they can live up to like 12 years. This is an adwolf. An adwolf, if you go to many countries in Africa, it is a specially protected animal because it is actually facing extinction. It's so scarce, you rarely see it when you're doing a tour around uh, the countries in Africa. So it is a specially protected animal in most of the countries in Africa. So these are the animals that falls under the family uh, hyena day, the brown hyena, the uh, spotted hyena, as well as the art wolf.